Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Chinese micro class. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about the Chinese New Year. Are you ready? Through this video, you will know the origin of Chinese New Year, preparation for Spring Festival, and some keywords on Chinese Spring Festival. You can also do some quizzes. First, the origin of Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year, known as Spring Festival, is also called Nian, but not many people know that Nian was also the name of a monster who lived in ancient China. Long, long ago, deep down in the sea, there lived a ferocious monster named Nian. The fabled creature appeared as half dragon, half unicorn. Legend says that on the eve of every new year, Nian would descend upon a nearby village and devour the grain, the livestock, and the townspeople. His favorite dish was children. The villagers lived in fear of the monster. No one knew how to fend it off, so the villagers did the only thing they could. While the monster ravaged their village, they hid in the mountains. One New Year's Eve, there came a stranger to the village. He was old with a long beard. His manner was hale and hearty. A kind old woman warned, "Go hide somewhere. The Nian's coming. He will eat you if he sees you." The old wise man answered, "Don't you worry. I have a way to tame the monster." The man told the villagers, "There are the three things that will frighten the beast away: loud noise, dazzling light, and the color red." The villagers followed the wise man's instructions. They prepared drums, firecrackers, lanterns, red clothes, and red paper, etc., before the eve of the New Year. Night fell. Nian appeared, ravenous and seeking to sit his hunger in the village. He stopped to steal as he observed the white paper hanging on the door. Then the night exploded. Nian was deafened by the roar of firecrackers and dazzled by their exploding lights. People all dressed in red. The beast fled away in terror and never returned. Thus, it has become a tradition among Chinese people to hang red cutlets on their doors during Spring Festival. Streets resound to the beat of drums and the crackle of fireworks. Lanterns are fashioned and proceed through the streets, and the demons lurking nearby run away in fear. With the annual celebrations, the people overcome Nian, or as we say in Chinese, Guo Nian. Chinese New Year is the most important traditional Chinese holiday, celebrated at the turn of the Chinese lunar calendar. The coming year falls on the 12th February 2021. The Chinese New Year is also known as the Spring Festival Chunjie because it marks the end of winter and the start of spring. The holiday lasts 15 days. Twelve Chinese zodiac. The Chinese animal zodiac, or Shengxiao, is a repeating cycle of twelve years, with each year being represented by an animal and its reputed attributes. Traditionally, these zodiac animals were used to date the years. Those twelve animals are the rat, the ox, the tiger, the rabbit, the dragon, the snake, the horse, the goat, the monkey, the rooster, the dog. The pig. The coming year is the year of the ox. Preparations for the Spring Festival. On the twenty-third of December, people will eat a sesame seed candy, which marks the beginning of Spring Festival. On the twenty-fourth of December, people will do general house cleaning. On the twenty-fifth of December. People make tofu. 
On the twenty-sixth of December, people will cook meat. On the twenty-seventh of December, people are going to prepare chicken. On the twenty-eighth of December, people will paste new year paintings. On the twenty-ninth of December, prepare liquor. On the thirtieth of December, people are busy preparing their family reunion dinner. Keywords on Chinese New Year: Fu Dao Le. The character Fu is often posted upside down. It is said that this is because the character for upside down Dao is a home form of the character for to arrive Dao. So this means that Fu is arriving. Nian Ye Fan. On New Year's Eve, families gather together and have a large traditional meal. Shao Sui. People will stay up late for all night on Spring Festival Eve to see the New Year in. Jiaozi. In North China, jiaozi play a special role in New Year food because of their shape, a shape which resembles the ancient Chinese gold or silver eagles. Niangao. In South China, niangao is a food prepared from glutinous rice and consumed in Chinese cuisine. It's considered good luck to eat niangao during this time because niangao is a home form for higher year, meaning better year or good luck. Hongbao, red envelopes, also known as ya si qian, literally meaning the money used to surprise or put down the evil spirit, are given to children during this period. Bai nian, people will visit the neighbors, friends, and relatives to give their greetings. Here are some useful expressions: Guo nian hao, Happy Spring Festival; Xin nian kuai le, Happy New Year; Da ji ba li, Very good luck and all right. 阖家欢乐 ，Happy family， 恭喜发财 ，May you be prosperous。红色和金色 ，The color red is a symbol of health, happiness, and good luck. In traditional Chinese weddings, the bride and groom wear full red as well. The color gold 金色 also symbolizes wealth and happiness. Now let's do some quizzes. First, how many days does the holiday last? The answer is fifteen days. Second, what special food do people eat to celebrate the Chinese New Year? Yes, jiaozi and niangao. Third. In China, what are the lucky colors? Red and gold. Fourth, what will children in different countries get during Chinese New Year? What does that stand for? The answer is red envelopes or Hong Bao. Last one. Why do Chinese people hang the full poster upside down? The answer is because the character for upside down Dao is a home form of the character for to arrive Dao. Congratulations! Happy New Year to everyone! 祝大家新年快乐！ Thank you for watching.